If you're doing a trailer build, stop everything you're doing and watch this. Guys, welcome to part six of our trailer build series. Super excited because uh, we're not that far away from uh, finishing up this series. As you can see, I already got one of the tanks on there. We're going to start with our chemical tank, but we're also going to show you how to bolt down, uh, well, both tanks, including your buffer tank, but how to put the footers on there so they don't slide from side to side. And uh, I mentioned this in a previous, uh, a previous episode, guys. So in our last episode of this series, which is going to be episode 90, we're actually going to take this rig out into the field and you guys are going to get to see this thing in action. But in order for you to be able to watch that, you're going to have to become a member of the Mr. Bubbles channel. In order to do that, you just hit the join button, which is right below right here on the left side here of your uh, the screen in the bottom of the video. And then the other way that you can hit the join button is in the description below. I have a link. Now guys, um, I have about 14, 15 videos on my channel already that are for members only. We're creating a very, very unique, awesome community here on YouTube. And guys, I mean, five bucks a month and you're getting all of this content. It's a no brainer because it's your tuition, tuition to trade school, right? Because this is what we're building. A Mr. Bubbles Power Washing Academy. We teach you everything, how to how to put your rig together, how to plumb your tanks, creating a bypass line, how to grow your business, get customers for your business. So bottom line guys is make sure you join the channel so you can have full access to all of our videos. And as, as I said before, guys, I got something brewing. I'm not ready to I'm not ready to tell you guys what it is yet, but I got something coming down the pipeline that is going to be awesome. So, but uh, in order to get this done and show you guys exactly what it is that 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 I'm going to do in order to finish this up, we're going to switch over to the GoPro because I want you guys to see it from a point of view. So, I'll see you guys over there. Okay guys, as you can see, I pretty much got everything in place. Uh, we're gonna put our buffer tank next. First, we're gonna do the, the chemical tank. Then once that's down and, and uh, tied down and everything, then we're gonna do the, the other tank. So and I'm gonna show you exactly, exactly, oh, excuse me guys, a little bit thirsty, exactly how we're gonna do this. So uh, let's get on here. You guys remember we're gonna use this milk crate here to put our bucket and put our um, our pump sprayer. So that's right against that. <clears throat> and uh, and I got this uh, to for the back. Of course, we're gonna use a ratchet strap to tie this guy down. Of course, we're gonna have to do that. You don't want this tank moving at all with zero probabilities that it's gonna fall off the trailer. So you guys can see here these, uh, they're called D-rings because they look like the letter D. I got this at Tractor Supply. I'm sorry guys, I got this at Harbor Freight for $2.99. So very, very, comes very, very, very handy. So let me show you here. Let me grab my trusty pencil and we're gonna mark here where these two D-rings are gonna go in the back here. So you can see here, oh, there's a lot of leaves in there guys, you see that? Been out in the wild for a while, but we're gonna clean this out when, uh, when we put everything together here. So you can see here, I pretty much, I want to make the line right here. You see where the pencil is? The line right there and right there. So we're going to judge. Let me put this back so you can see it. So right to the right of that one and to the left of that one. You know, that's where we want to mark for our, hopefully you guys can see okay here. We want to mark for our, where our d rings going to go. So one d ring is going to go right here. So I just put a little X right there, guys. That's all I did. And one D-ring right, right here. There you go. So let's get the D-ring and the drill. And we got pretty much everything we need right here, guys. I got everything staged out here because it's a lot of different tools that we're going to need. Of course, we're going to need our trusty drill. And I have said this several times. It's in the description below, the drill that I use. I've been using this guy here for, man, I want to say four or five years or more. 
probably more than that. I've had this drill for a long time, but I do have like five, six different drills. So it's very important to have drills. But anyway, so we're going to need our D-ring right here. Okay, so get this, bust this guy out of the bag. D-ring, and it's gonna take two screws for this guy. So we'll leave that here. We got our drill, and we're actually going to use, uh, let me see this one. No, this one's too big. Let me see. Uh, we could use that one. That's okay too. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Give me a second here, guys. Could also use this one as well. Just a little wood screw. Doesn't really matter. Make sure this. Oh, oh, almost dropping my drill. Make sure this doesn't go through. Uh, not a perfect fit, but it'll it'll get the job done. Okay, and then we got these these screws here, but that's not ideal for this. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in here. These uh, the D ring, D ring. So we're gonna put one right here, just like that. You see that? Right there, right there. And then the other one is gonna go right here. This is what uh, what we're gonna tie down to, right? You guys see that? So they're both ready to go. Ready to go. <clears throat> I'm using this uh, wood screw. Excuse me, guys, here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. That's in there real good. And now the next one. Bam! And they're real good. Again, I'm using an uh, uh, inch and a half uh, wood screws, just like we did for our base there. There we go. I'm going to lift that guy up. <clears throat> I'm trying to uh, make it so you know you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm doing in these uh, these more intricate parts. So you see the different straps here, guys. Now again, I've said this already a bunch of times, I know, but all of this stuff is in your description, and I really like these um, these ratchet straps because you see how they they hook in there. I really like that. So we'll hook this one first in there, just like that. And I'm going to straighten that out and I'm going to put that over the, over the edge here, like that. You see that? Same thing here. Hook that into there real good. Put that over like that. Okay. And these ratchet straps, I mean, they hold thousands, thousands upon thousands of pounds. So we don't have to worry about that. Now I'm gonna put the tank back in its place right here. Put that right there. This is going up against it. There you have it, guys. Okay, so that's in place. All right? See that? And we got enough room over there. Yep. Got enough room. Exact enough room that we need for that. Now, how are we gonna put this part here is with this right here, this footer. I'm gonna show you. This one I already put lines on it, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway, here. Okay, so you see that right there? We're going to, we're going to, <clears throat> excuse me guys. We're going to uh, put this to, we're actually gonna screw this straight onto the trailer with three, just like we did uh, with our hose reels. Right there, one, two, three. And then we're going to, bolt not bolt but we're gonna use a a special type of screw to screw onto there and then the tie the tie down is gonna go to that right now where is our trusty drill right there so let's go ahead and and screw this onto the thing here and again this is the same screw this is the three inch screw remember that we were using for our uh, what is that thing called our base here that we created right here all right so we'll start with this one right here straight down the middle boom one of them is in the books put the other one right here 
And one to go, guys. One screw to go. <clears throat> I had this, uh, ooh, I don't want that falling out. I had this, uh, this thing here full of screws, full of different types of screws right there. Man, guys, uh, this was, uh, my old lady was upset at me because I took that from the kitchen. <laughs> You know, back in the day, I would take a bunch of like Tupperware from the kitchen. You see that? I forget what she had in there, cookies or something. And I took that from my screws and she was upset about that. Uh, so here you go, third one. Oh, 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 my knee. Okay, there you go. Okay. You guys see that, right? So one, two, three. So that's good enough. Now for this next part here, I'm actually gonna move the tank out of the way. Because remember, the tank is not bolted down yet or anything like that. Because for this next part here, which is the important part, uh, we're going to need to ch change over to a drill bit. Drill bit. Here, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is that we are doing. Okay, so instead of using D-rings here, right, in this part here, uh, which I could. I've done that in the past, but... What I've changed to um, last couple of years ago was when I was doing my trailers, I changed to these right here. See that right there? These things are called, what are they called? They're called screw, screw eye, screw eye screws. Is that right? Large screw eyes. Oh, well, yeah. Screw eye screws. Did not know that screw eye screws all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to let me see this real quick before i drill all right because remember the there's the right between the boards is right here so we're gonna screw this like right here that's pretty good right here it's pretty good and we're gonna screw this one right there. Okay, so now let's move this guy back. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna screw this. Hopefully you can see that real good. Okay, now let me move this way so you can see the other one. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how we're going to put this guy into place here. We're gonna need this right here, all right? We're gonna use this to twist it real good. Look at that, right? Oh, that's, that's perfect, that's perfect. So let's get the other one right here. So yeah, I'm excited, man, that you guys, that you guys, you see that guy's, uh, <clears throat> the hole that I created is like half the size of the screw, right? So it, it's really tight. I mean, I can only get, ah, that's as far as I can go with my hand, you know, and that's what I use this for. And then I just screw it in there like that. You see that? And this is just gonna take a little bit of time like that. You see that right there? Whew. I'm excited, man, that you guys are, I mean, communicate a lot. With a lot of you guys, you email me and stuff, and I'm excited that you, you're putting your business together, you know. This is the time to do it, you know. If you don't, if you don't start a pressure washing business and do every do everything you can, you know, within your power to succeed, you know, you gotta remember someone's gonna do it. And it, you know, why not be you? You know, that's my point. Might as well be you. Uh, one more. Look at that, guys. You see that? That sucker ain't going nowhere. All right, let me do the next one here. Like I said, it only goes so far with your hand, and then you can't trust it anymore. <laughs> you know, when I uh, when I started uh, my pressure washing business, you know, I, I built it little by little. I tell you guys this all the time. Probably one of the... Number one things I say on my channel is, 
you know you want to grow your business before you grow your equipment this budget build for example that i'm that i'm building for you guys you're going to be able to recreate this with less than five thousand dollars now i know to some of you guys right starting out you might say to yourself oh my god five thousand dollars that's a lot of money guys like i mean if you know what you're doing out there you're going to be able to make that back in a few days okay a few days it does not take a lot because remember remember that old saying you know today i do what nobody can do so i can do tomorrow when nobody can All right that's one of my favorite sayings you're developing a skill that very few people have so you're gonna make what very few people might. oh that's really 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 tight okay you guys can see that really good there boom and boom okay so now let's get up here and get our our other part of the strap okay remember the same straps that i'm using they're in the description below all right you guys see that okay i want to make sure okay no that's pretty good that's pretty good i want to be able to you know not get too tight there that's perfect right there right and that's you see that guys right there boom boom perfect look at that perfect and then that right there i'm gonna show you guys here let me take this one off i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys if you guys never done this before how to use a ratchet strap so you guys see it here from my angle Okay, you see how there's a down part and an up part right here? If you're looking at it like this, you see that? You see that little hole? So in order to use this thing right, okay? You, know, you see that from my point of view right there? That's how you that's how you use these right here, right? Look, see how I straighten the line out? It's straight. What you wanna do is you wanna go to the bottom. You see that right there? So go through this loop right here. You go through the bottom. And then you go through the middle, the middle right there like that. See that right there? Just like that. That's how you do it correctly. Okay? Teach you guys, I bet you didn't know that. Teach you guys a lot of things that you, you probably didn't know. Okay, and then I hook onto there. Up, right there. You see that? And then I'm going to one, two. Oh, I only got through two and a half. It's already super tight. I mean super tight i mean that i mean look i mean yeah it ain't going nowhere already you see that just like that guys super super tight already let me show you the the next one all right we'll, we'll do it again in case you missed it so you see how i straighten out my line like that okay you see how there's a bottom part you can see it right here look you see that right there the bottom part right there so again you're gonna go through the bottom right here all right i was i was commenting this to somebody the other day you know i, I wish i would have had someone you know what i mean that would have taught me this stuff it would have been so much easier sorry about that guys it slipped through my glove so uh you know it would have been a lot easier it's a lot easier when you have somebody teach you things as opposed to having to learn absolutely everything on your own so there you go you see that you see how straight that is guy look and then I go through the middle. You, you do your ratchet straps like this, you'll never have an issue ever. Okay? So hopefully you can see that. If not, I'll have to make another video. One, two, three. Ooh, ooh, three and a half. So that was two and a half. That was three and a half. There you go. So first one is in the books okay so you can see here guys look i mean i'm moving the whole trailer you see that i mean that 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 guy ain't going absolutely nowhere and then plus you can see how there's there's a gap right here like a three inch gap so it's not hitting my gate either okay and of course you know with that footer there it's not going forward and it is not going backwards i mean that thing ain't moving nowhere okay let's move this out of the way real quick here guys okay 
And, oh no, I got to move it more. Let's put this out of our way up here. And then as we need the stuff, we'll move. We'll move it as we need it. Oh, this is a lot of work, guys. No joke, when this is all said and done, this is costing me about 25 hours, something like that. Of course, you guys are seeing the edited version, but some of these things are taking me two, three hours to do, right? So it's very time consuming, but like I said in my previous video, also rewarding, right? Okay, let's do this together. Oh my God, this is heavy. Oh, that's no joke. That's no joke right there, guys. Ooh, 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 it slid down. Ah, oh, these gloves, they're not very, what's it called? Uh, they don't have a lot of grip on them. But you know what, let's do something here real quick before we put this in there anyway. I like how that looks. I like the black theme. I wanted to tell you guys something real quick. So a subscriber, a subscriber of the Mr. Bubbles channel, man, what's this guy's name? Well, anyway, hopefully I can find it, but he suggested we paint this side right here. This side right here. See the board right there? Um, I've never painted that side before of all the trailers, because within a couple, I would say a couple weeks, it's all, you know, it's all gonna look, I mean, it looks like that now because the wood's brand new. But anyway, so because you guys are the producers of the channel and you guys decide, you know, the direction of the channel, I'll leave it, up to you guys. I'll leave that up to you guys. I, I love the idea of painting that right there to match the decor, the black of the trailer, but let me know in the comment section below, yes or no. What do you guys think? Should we paint that or no? So I'll leave that up to you guys. So, uh, but anyway, let's put these straps. We'll do the same thing because we need to uh, bring them over, right? So we'll, de we'll do these two. Where's the other one right here? All right, so that way we're not having to reach down. All right, here we go. Same thing here. I'm gonna hook it to, well, this, this won't fit on a hook right there, but it doesn't matter. I'll just hook it to the actual uh, strap right there because it has a hook on it as well. Same thing here, put it over. See that? There you go. Like I said, I love these, these straps because they have hooks on them and you can lock the, the hooks. I absolutely love that. All right, guys, let's try this again with this heavy ass tank. <clears throat> and if you guys notice here, I'm putting the end where the bulkhead, I'll show you here in a second, is facing me. It's not really heavy, to be honest with you. What it is, is just, it's hard to get a hold of it. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna show you guys a couple things here. Okay, there you go. Remember, there's what about six, seven inches here with our machine, right? So there's a little bit of space here. So this ain't going nowhere. But I was saying the plumbing right here, see? Down here. That's what I was talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. So let's move around here. So sorry about that guys, uh, GoPro died on me again. So, but uh, yeah, as, as I was saying, you guys see here, I mean, this is perfect. This ain't going nowhere. We had already put our straps over our buffer tank and I did, while uh, I was waiting for the battery to charge, I did put this footer on here. It's not on yet, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys um, how we do it so just like we did before we got our trusty drill right here where's the screw right here so let's get up here and do this together and we're almost there take our whip lines out of here <clears throat> put that over here for now okay so we're gonna take these three remember this is the three inch screw so we're gonna take that put it right there bam okay take one put on the edge of there man this gopro here guys putting in been putting in some work i've already recorded what about 20 20 house washes with it 
roof washing, you name it, we've done it with this GoPro. So that's in there, where's our pencil? So we're gonna mark the pencil for where we're gonna put our, what was that thing called? Screw eye screw? That sounds about right. Screw eye screw. So remember the thing is right here. So we want the screw to go right there. And this one is right here. We want the screw to go right there. Okay, we mark that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move the buffer tank out of the way because it's gonna be hard to put that with the tank in there. Let's move that out of our way. I'm excited, man. We're almost at the at the end part of this uh, whole thing because at the next episode, we're going to plumb the top of the tank, our bulkhead fittings for our uh, water line and our uh, bypass line. And also, I'm going to install a uh, Hudson float valve in there for you guys. Oh, my God. Here we go. Whew. That's out of there. All right, so you guys see how we did that? So let's go ahead and, uh, and finish this guy up. Where is our trusty drill? Trusty, trusty drill. <clears throat> Again, we're going to switch over to our uh, drill bit here. Drill bit right here. Oh, there you go. Well, okay, so now where is our screw eyed screws? I'm gonna be saying that over and over again now. Screw eyed screws. One, two, three, right there. One, two, three, right here. Screw eyed screws. Where are our screw eyed screws? Right here, right in this bag right here. Of course, I won't know how this footage comes out. I can see why, you know, I've looked online, by the way, on YouTube for different content creators. I wanna see if, um, you know, anyone's ever created what I'm creating right here. And I don't know that anyone has, to be honest with you, because, um, it's very hard to film this stuff from the right angle, man. It's like I have to use ooh, four. I have five different cameras, two different GoPros, and um, and two, you know, uh, just different cameras. Oh, it's hard to get it in there. That's what she said. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, that's as far as I can do it with my hand. Okay, let's get these out of the way. Um, yeah, I don't know that anyone's ever created something like this on camera. Of course, people you know, create rigs all the time, right? But to put on camera, it's something else. Ah, there you go. Boom. You guys see that? Super tight. That ain't going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Let's do this last one and let's put this thing together. Because it's, it's hard, guys. I'm not being hyperbolic or exaggerating here but man it's really uh, it's really hard to film this stuff man especially with the gopro because i won't tell until later when our editor goes through it you know if we're if we have to reshoot and i've never said this but some of my videos i've not here in this trailer build but some of the videos I've made for you guys, I had to reshoot three or four times in order to make it. So that's kind of annoying. I mean, you've heard of, you know, when they make movies, sometimes they're taking 80, 90 takes to create one scene. You know what I mean? You don't think about things like that when you're creating content, but you know, sometimes that's what it is. Like for example, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to talk to you about a mistake that I made that I didn't catch until, uh, it was already live on YouTube. So if you watch my episode, uh, what's the previous episode? 
not the previous episode, but the one before that. So the one where we put the the reel together and I was talking to you guys and I mentioned I was talking about the surface cleaning. And what I said on there is that for every inch of your of your GPM, you can go one inch uh, for every GPM. You can go one inch on your surface cleaner. I didn't mean to say one inch. I meant to say four inches. So, for example, this is a five and a half inch pump. So, you know, I can go 20 inches. So, tw you know, more than 20 inches. But this is the example, you know. So if your if your pump is four in four GPMs, you can go up to 16 inches on your surface cleaner. The bottom line is it's not one inch per GPM. It's four inches per GPM. Right. So let me re re repeat that. So you can go up to four inches per GPM. So if you have a four gallon per minute pump, you can go up to 16 inches on your surface cleaner. You guys got that? So that's what I was talking about, you know, creating content, you know, some sometimes stuff like that gets through because, you know, it's not like I have a huge army of people helping me out, you know, with that stuff. And I gave up uh, trying to record my employees on, on camera because it just doesn't work. I had this guy, I had this guy that I was recording, one of my technicians, and I, <laughs> guys, I swear to God, every three, every three seconds, he would stop what he would be doing and look at me and be like, what do you want me to do next? What do you, what do you need me? Like, like I was a director or something, giving him instructions. And, and every time I had to turn the camera off and I'd be like, dude, don't, don't pay attention to the camera. Forget the camera. Just do your job like you would normally do. And then three minutes later, he would stop, look at the camera. Okay, what do you want me to do next? It just is very hard. So there you have it, guys. So you can see right here, bam, bam, that's done. Let's put the tank back. Let's put this guy in here. Man, this thing is tight. This thing ain't going nowhere. Let's put this thing back in here and wrap this up. So, getting there little by little, guys. You know what? Let's get this ready. This last, the ratchet straps here ready to go. And I'll show you guys again here how to put this on real good. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, it can be kind of challenging to create content. I'm not even joking. At least in this industry, I don't know other industries. I know guys that create content, you know, and they're in a, you know, um, behind the desk and stuff and. <laughs> But to create content out in the field like this, you know, be out there. Uh, I remember, oh man, what episode was it? Oh, man, I can't remember. I've created so many episodes out in the field. But I was doing one episode. Oh, you know what? I wanted to show you this real quick. So I did this off camera when the thing was charging. So let me push this. So if you guys see right here, see how I, I rounded off this corner? Because it was like this. And it was poking right into my tank. So I so now it's nice and round. So let me push this back. Let me move this back right here. So you can see. So 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 see now like it's not gonna poke it. So that's nice. I like that. That's really good. So you gotta take take those things into account. Of course, this tank here, I mean, good God. I mean, it's to poke this, you would almost need to drill it, right? So, but there you have it. There you have it, so that's pretty good. We still got what, six inches right here and about three inches right there, so we have room to move and to put our machine. But I, I knew the space was gonna be tight because I decided to go with the 200 gallon buffer tank. Of course, I could have used a smaller tank. You guys are using a 100 gallon tank, so it's going to be about six, seven inches you know, less uh, width wise than mine. Like your 100 gallon tank would have came out to about right here. So, but uh, but there you have it. Now let's go ahead and uh, where's the, yep, there, here they are right here. I'm gonna show you guys again how to, how to put this. It's one of those things that it seems like you learn 
from uh, just doing it, you know. <clears throat> Here we go. There we go. But, uh, but yeah, I was saying also, you know, I'm really excited. I want to see you guys grow. You know, that was always my goal with my channel always was to make it a chant make a channel you know where you guys would be able to learn and grow you know because of my channel you know and that's what i was saying you know about the membership guys you know it's five bucks a month but you know we're we're hiring uh we have an editor now and uh, uh, some designers that help us out with the thumbnails okay one two three Ooh, sorry, the snap came off in the back. So let me show you how to undo this. So to undo it, all you can do is like that, you press up and then it comes right off. See that, it already came off. You know, I was saying guys that, you know, we, we have, you know, people that we're hiring that's helping us out. That's what it is. I never strapped this one on. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, you know, people that are helping us. You know, uh, you guys notice that. You know, my thumbnails are different from everybody else's. Out, everybody else's. You know, I, I'm not a designer. You know what I mean? Imagine if I had to, on top of everything else, design my own thumbnails. Oh my God. I mean, I'd be here for a hot minute doing that. And so I'm starting to build a team that helps out the channel, you know? And I was saying too, I don't know if I said it earlier in this episode or the previous episode, we also have a private Facebook group just for members where you guys can post you know your own videos and uh guys oh, excuse me guys there you go two oh that's pretty tight that's very tight guys are posting um videos of their own rigs and you know uh content that they create out in the field let me show you guys this one more time you see that right there so i want to go underneath right there just like that see how i went underneath and now i go through the metal rung just like that <clears throat> so it's not part of mr bubbles channel is communicating and networking with the guys within the industry one two ah oh, that one fell off too ah oh. oh, so annoying <clears throat> excuse me guys did it fall off? Oh, it didn't fall off. Ah, no, that one's hooked in there. I just needed a little bit more line. That's what I mean. I like this, uh, I like this space right here too, guys. I wonder what I could use it for. Of course, it'd be hard to get in here. You don't want to step on your equipment and stuff, but you guys got any ideas? Let me see how creative the inner zones, you guys, any inner webs are. What would you put right here? Okay, look at this space right here. You know, in the future, this would be perfect for our soft washing box. But anyway, let me know, guys. This is uh, three feet by three feet. This little area right here, we could put tools, a different toolbox, a bunch of, you know, we could put an extra line, power washing line here. What would you guys use this extra space for? Let me know in the comment section below. But uh, I'm super excited about the direction of the channel. You know, uh, guys are, you see that? So through and through, just like that. Uh, a lot of positive feedback. Guys are coming back and saying, you know, oh my God, I did this one thing you told me. Now I got all these customers. One, two, two and a half. Ah, that's how it's going. You guys see that? Okay. All right. Now you guys see how this is on there super super tight where's the top it's right here i want to put the top right here on there super tight the next thing that we're going to do i'm going to show you guys this right here 
So you guys remember in episode three, when we did the staging, I wanted this right here because this is, and where's our, I know we have this here, but I don't know where the bucket went. Anyway, we'll get a different bucket, but the bottom line is I'm gonna show you guys how to make it so this thing doesn't jump around on you as you drive, right? So if you think about it, there's a couple different ways that you could do it. You could put a ratchet strap, that's one way. You could put a, a bungee cord, that's another way, but then everything's gonna get in a way of you being able to, uh, being able to uh, put something in there, right? So I'm gonna show you how I do it. This is real simple here. Okay, we got a drill. We're going to need for this, for this part of it, guys, you're gonna need this right here. You see this uh, Phillips drill, but it, you see how big it is? It's, uh, I don't know, seven, eight inches, whatever that is, maybe six inches. You wanna put that on your drill. And that's what I created this for, right here. You see that? So this is gonna go in there, and then I'm going to drill this to the bottom of my trailer, to my trailer, to the board. So this right here measures out, so, so the crate measures out 12 inches by 12 inches, it's a square. So I make this 11.45, so just a little shy of a foot. So you just put that in there like that, you see that? Boom. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, where's my, right here, these little, uh, two and a half you can see that exterior wood screw two and a half. I'm gonna use this guy right here Let me open this box up guys <clears throat> To put that you see that right there, and I'm just gonna do two in each two Right here Okay just like that. I'm gonna put one on each corner right there Just like that. Now I'm gonna do the other corner right here. You guys probably not gonna be able to see this on screen because uh, it's too close here to where I am. Hard angle here, guys. Hold on, give me a second here. But you'll be able to see it. You see that? Right there, guys. That ain't going nowhere. Now I can take my my jug here, <clears throat> my two gallon jug, bam. Of course, you know, I want the bucket here. That's what I really want here is the bucket. And I can put that right there. Look at that. Completely and utterly out of my way. Okay. You see that? And let me show you this real quick. So that's good to go. As I showed you, the tanks are good to go. You can see that right there, super good. I'm not gonna cut this one, but I think I'm going to cut. I don't want these guys flopping around, so I'm gonna cut. I have scissors here somewhere. I'm going to cut this right here. Not too much, I wanna cut about right there. Just cut the extra, extra string, or what is this called, strap off. <clears throat> right, same thing right here. There you go. Don't need this. I can probably use this to tie something in the future. Just put it in my my box of uh, miscellaneous crap that I have. So that's good to go. And then I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Uh, you guys remember, I got the surface cleaner right here. And, you know, everything's good to go right here. And what I wanted to show you guys was... So the surface cleaner, right? I'm going to put that right here for you guys. You guys, I can put it right here like this. Move this saw out of the way right here. You see that? I can put that like that and then I can just, you know, uh, strap it down, right? Uh, or, or put something so it doesn't move. But I don't like it that it's, you know, hanging off like this. It's, I don't want anything to get in the way of my marketing. So I can actually put this like this right here, like that. Look at that. 
look how perfect that is guys. and then you guys saw from the the previous episode i just don't have the bungee with me i can just attach a bungee to right here and bam that's out of the way and then the other thing i was going to tell you guys is so i have another another one of those melt crates right just like that one and I can put that milk crate right here and I have that other board and I can just drill and I'll do that off camera. You guys saw how I did it. I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't want this video to be too long. But you see this right here, guys? This ain't going nowhere, look at that. It's trapped right there. Not going absolutely anywhere, okay? So I really like that. And then the only other thing that I'm going to do and I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm gonna show you guys um, I'm gonna show you guys um, what it is, uh, the final step here that you're going to do. So you saw how I created footers. Let me show you this real quick here. So you saw how I created footers for, uh, so that the tank does not move from right to left. You see that right there? So it doesn't move, I mean, I'm sorry, it doesn't move forward, right? But also these footers here are really so, you know, from my straps. But I want to create footers too. You see that down there? I want to create footers for, uh, what's it called? For, for my for the tank so it doesn't move to the right or left you know eventually this gets a little bit loose it always happens and then you tighten it down again but in the meantime you don't want that tank moving from side to side so i have and this i think was 11 inches i want to say so i have one on the left there and i have one that's going to go right here you see that so i'm going to put one there and one there and, and next time we do I come back for the next episode. I'll show you guys that. But, you know, that's not really a big deal. You're just literally going to drill right onto there. But, I mean, you guys see it's coming together. I mean, that tank, I moved this whole trailer, guys. I mean, that tank ain't going absolutely nowhere. And I like having that little space there because it's not being slammed up against the and damaged the, the tailgate. In case in the future also, I want to repurpose it, right? But... There you have it. It's it's coming together, guys. I really like it. It's uh it's really starting to, you know, to to show like something, right? You guys see it right there. And uh so I'm really happy with the results so far. So far, of course, uh there's a lot more work to go, but um but I love that, you know, I get to share this experience with you guys and then also, you know, share with you guys exactly how, you know, you guys can build your own rig, right? You see that? So you can see it here from this angle. I mean, it's coming together real nicely. So, but anyway, I really, as always guys, I really, really appreciate you coming to my channel. I love it that you guys are, man, you guys are really liking this series of all the things that I've done. I think this is the thing that is resonating the most with you guys. So I'm really happy about that. I've mentioned this before. I've mentioned this before. We got uh, my next series that I'm doing is going to be episodes 110 to 120. We're going to do the same thing that we're doing here, but to a back of a truck. We're going to do a truck build together. And it's for Joe. He's one of my coaching clients. As you guys know, I coach a lot of guys in the industry. He already dropped off the truck and the equipment. And the equipment that he ordered is everything that is in the description below. So you guys are going to get to see me put a ladder rack together and uh, prepared the tailgate for marketing and you know everything and then there's going to be a, a, a blueprint build for that as well that I'll be able to send out to you guys but uh, but yeah it's coming along nicely the funny thing is this pretty much looks how the trailer is going to look in the end guys and then again let me know what you guys think about the idea of painting this uh, if you guys are um, if you love that idea go ahead and let me know in the comment section you know guys make sure you share this video out you know and make comments and stuff to help me out to 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 be able to push this to a wider audience and uh, you guys already know that i absolutely love interacting with you guys and you know when you guys email me i'll send you my marketing blueprint for new guys I'll send you the, the trailer build blueprint as well. I answer all of my emails. I absolutely love helping you guys and I want to see you grow. And uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bubbles out.